Hello everyone. So I'm at the supermarket today. It's called Maker Park. It's a pretty reasonable supermarket. They sell like for people who want to buy in large quantities. But even if you're just buying for yourself, the prices are still very accessible. And they have the government discount as well, which I'll explain to you after. They're also renovating. So I'm assuming that they're gonna start maybe selling more products, um, maybe household um, items like sheets and utensils and maybe clothes as well and furniture like the other stores so let's see what they have in store i haven't been here in a very in a pretty long time so let's see what's up here you have the security guard putting on alcohol so here i am entering you put your bags here hi everyone welcome to my supermarket tour Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, and to turn on the notification bell. Um, in this vlog, I'll be showing you a full supermarket tour in Rosario, Argentina. Some parts were noisy, but I do hope that you'll just bear with me and enjoy. Here we have the pasta aisle. They have spaghetti. Argentina is very big on pasta and spaghetti. So, yeah, all of this aisle coming all the way around. That's pasta, 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 pasta. And then here they have something called capellettini, which is actually some, I think this also Italian, they, they use it a lot in Italy. It's like a different way of making pasta to me. Then you have, um, what's it called? Polenta. This is cornmeal. <laughs> then you have cheese. Um, like dry grater cheese, they call it queso rachel. Um, I used to buy it's nice, like when you make pasta, you put your um sauce on it and you put cheese over it, but like it's so expensive that I prefer to just buy normal cheese and grate it myself. Oh, so now I have to redo everything. And here, this is what I was telling you about that we have something that's called budin, and this is what they make it have in Christmas time, and they normally have a number of them left over. And it's 111 pesos, which is about one US dollars or 50 cents if you use another rate. And then here you have rice, all types of rice, rice galore. And I think, oh, I already got a pack. Should maybe get Lucchetti rice. Should I like Lucchetti? It's a good brand here. And you have, look, for example, this is 500 kilos. 77 pesos using the official rate it would be about 80 cents using the unofficial rate it would be probably about 25 cents so i'm going to put back this one oh no i thought i was filming and i was talking and i was giving you all the load on so as i was saying is that here they're fixing the supermarket so that's why it's so noisy and they also are big on gelatin so you have different flavors they're big on making these desserts oh this is the pasta aisle which i already came down when i was explaining about the manticle i spoke about this too in the christmas vlog um money is peanuts so that's money that's money that's money again here right and I was talking, telling you that olives are a very big thing in Argentina. All of these are olives. Olives, olives. And these is the brand that I like. Tau. So they have um, salad dressing, spicy mayonnaise, coleslaw, mayonnaise with garlic, teriyaki, chimichurri. Chimichurri, it's like um, a lot of herbs mixed up with some sauce <laughs> let's see what it has it has vinegar garlic salt sugar balsamic vinegar um onion curry hill curry hill i think is parsley um oregano um mustard yeah 
And then you have barbecue. And this one is a sauce that they make for meat. Sweet mustard cheddar. Very good brand. And you have your other sauces here. Other brands selling the same thing. And then here you have the big packets for people who have supermarkets or restaurants. Then Hellman's is a very big brand here too. Then you have a lot of mustard. They consume a lot of mustard and then mayo. Paladia is also a very popular brand here. Um, and one thing that was really surprising to me was the fact that everything says made in Argentina. So look, made in Argentina. Even Hellman's will say made in Argentina. So I was saying that I think Argentina has like a special agreement with these brands to actually make their stuff here. They probably give them the raw materials. And then here, look, all of that. Wine. And there's more. So let's look at the prices. As I said before, Argentina is a very big wine country. So look at those prices. 432 using the unofficial rate. It'll be like $2. Using the official rate, it'll be like $4. So if it's official rate, it's half of the unofficial rate. And I'll probably do a vlog explaining that, which I don't really have all the answers, but I could try. So these are the prices. 300, you have from 100 going up. All right, so here we have like a little freezer with burger patties. They eat a lot of burgers. Beef is very big here in Argentina. These are empty, I don't know why. <laughs> Probably to restock them. Oh, they say that. Oh, they're repairing them. That's why they're empty. All right, so let's continue. The supermarket is getting bigger and bigger by the day and it's getting noisy and noisier. Wow. This is so annoying. So here we have all the toilet paper. Oh my, the stop now. Oh, just know it was so noisy. And it's also very dusty because they are fixed. They're doing something. I have no idea what they're doing up there. But they're making something. <laughs> just have to wait and see. So here, Argentines use a lot of olive oil. <laughs> Look, they're also dusty because they're fixing over there. And also, Argentines have a lot of dogs. And they care for them very well. So you have all these dog food. Remember, official rate would be like about, about four dollars, unofficial two dollars, and the like. Okay. So here we have off. In liquid and you're gonna get sick they don't have sick yes they have sick these are like they come in little packets where if you already have like a container you can just buy these and refill them and they're cheaper so this would cost $179 and it's 124 pesos <laughs> I meant to say now for some washing soap I'm gonna get me some all uh, automatic this says it eliminates virus and bacteria <laughs> good one good one so you're taking advantage of the pandemic <laughs> mm. 
Right. It's the same thing. They always have them like this. You can always just put them back in in a container that you have. Here we have more pudding. Like this market is in like some really what should I say? It's confusing right now because they're rearranging. And yeah, they have soup in a in a bag. Soup sopa lista means like instant soup. And their Maggie seasoning palm like this they have them for they have them for um chicken for beef and also they have them for vegetables i like these they're nice another instant soup and more seasonings let's go i'm i'm just going somewhere right now because i don't even know where i'm going <laughs> oh more liquid soap i need to get liquid soap Another. Okay, so these are in Jamaica and call them scotch brights. <laughs> um, let me see. I don't like these because after a while they just start to peel off. Even though you shouldn't use them for a long time, but at the same time, they should last for a while. And then you have these. Okay. I'll get the yet or the jet yet. Alright, these are flat and they are like one surface. And Argentines use these a lot in the kitchen and I find it to be very useful. You know, like just wipe off your counter when you're finished. And this is like one, but you can put it in four. It's like folded. It's really easy to use. And then you have garbage bags. I won't get any of these because I have quite a bit um, to last me for a while. I may get one of these though because I'm not sure when I'm coming back. So, this is one. I always look for the cheapest one because honestly, to me, they all do the same work. I don't see the need to buy something really expensive that you won't necessarily need to have like any superb quality. Here you have bleach. And these are on sale. 48 pesos using the official rate. That would be like about... Um, 25? No, 50 cents. And all your cleaning materials, um, Ashurin, the pretty, pretty popular brand here, Zoro too. Um, and these are like little towels that you can use to like disinfect the area this is to clean your bathroom let me see i'm gonna get one of these sif is also a very good cleaning brand so i mean you should use this yeah this is easier it comes in a container where you can just spray and then the next time you can always get these, which they call them repostas, and they cost like half of the price. But let me see, 500. This has a little less too. So the first time you're buying anything, it's normally pretty pricey, and then after that, you know, you can always get the the retail. Um, here we have matches and candles. Oops. Where are you going, girl? We actually have shoe polish here. 179 pesos. And these are like sprays for your your clothes. If you're gonna store them away, you can spray them so that um they can have a good scent. But yeah, don't need that right now. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get to the snack aisle. Lays and Doritos and Cheetos. These are the most famous um, American brands that I see here. And then you have this one, which I think is Argentine. And let's look. Look at what Lays do. All right, oh, this one. Industria Argentina means made in Argentina. <laughs> so let's see. They have like potato chips, vermouth here, nuts, and they have these things which are like little palitos, and they eat them a lot. When you go to parties, they have them out. They aren't too bad, but. After a while, I get annoyed by them. <laughs> it's like a party pack. Yeah. Like the other supermarkets, that's in, that, there's another supermarket that's really, it's more international. They will have a lot more variety of brands, but here, not so much. Here you have like nuts in the in the shell that's what you call it but that's not very popular here but you can see find it every now and again and then here we have an aisle well not an aisle but we have some powdered seasoning these are like seasons for empanadas and i will show you and tell you guys and maybe make empanadas some other time too black pepper these are seasons for rice. Um, ahi. This is like um, pepper. What's that called? Like dried pepper. Um, provencal, which is pretty much just garlic and per, um, parsley together. Oregano. And then another brand this is well alicante and this is dust and, and class <laughs> uh, yeah they just have different stuff you know, we have for pizza and chimichurri is very popular here and uh, yeah once again i thought i was filming so just showing that these are like sweet things that they have and here they have what you call um vinishas, which is something like they just dip it in their tea and half and uh, it's like sugar coated and then here we have a lot of like muffins and all the works and then here we have breadcrumbs breadcrumbs are very popular in Argentina because they make something that's called milanesa which is like breaded meat and so people some people make them at home some people buy them ready-made so breadcrumbs is very popular um, and just here you have all the likes, just breadcrumbs, if, all the way here. Here we have our prunes. Hey, they're prunes. Yeah. And then these are some other dried fruits. And the seeds you have a mixture of seeds, 145 pesos, that should be one about one US dollar and lino and amaranth I'm not sure what those are in English quinoa very good yeah oh yeah I also have pumpkin seeds then here they have a little market area where you can get your produce we have onions here and this is almost one and a half kilos of onions and that's for 84 pesos potatoes eggs which there aren't any eggs I'm not sure today's what they today's Tuesday maybe they haven't really gotten any stock as yet so that's why the place looks a bit empty have some fruits here I don't normally get fruits or vegetables here because the quality normally isn't the best but before, like sometimes I would have some really good deals and I would get them maybe from lemon or sweet pepper, but nothing too big. 
And then here they have a little place for like a little um, pastry area where you can get your pastries. Nothing big seems to be happening. I guess because they're fixing up and all of that. Oh, here. Like I'm just winging it. Because <laughs> this place is so confusing right now. Here we have um, bread. They have, as I said, they eat a lot of burgers. So burger bread are very popular. And then your bread slices are very thin and light. Honestly, I don't normally buy bread because it's hard for me to eat them off within a certain time. I don't want them to go bad. So this is their what well, the closest thing to a loaf of bread. <laughs> um yeah, these things I was so shocked when I came here the first time and saw them. They're like little breads, but they're like super hard. <laughs> Look. Right. And Argentines eat that a lot for breakfast with maybe cheese or jam. What I think I may get though is a pack of these things that I call Grixines. You know, I think like we had like there was actually a um like a cheese thing where you would have cheese and these. So I like them because they're like Yeah. So let's see what is down this side. Here we have um when I just came to Argentina I realized that they were they didn't use a lot of um mops. So instead they would put this thing on let me show you they will put this thing on this and wipe the floor <laughs> but now I see mops but they're not popular they're not they're not like the first choice most people just use these what they call them trapo de piso or like a floor cloth and oh yes here we have coffee Argentines consume a whole lot of coffee. I'm sure there, there's another stand with coffee somewhere about the place. And this is the famous dulce de leche, or um, I think this is what we call caramel. 182, 159, and I'm sure there are more somewhere about the place. And here you have your oats, semola. Mm, I should probably get a pack of oats to make some porridge or something of the like. Corn flakes. As I said, this store doesn't sell like the very big brands. Well, we have Kellogg's here, but for the most part, they sell like oh, there's fruit, fruit loops. For the most part, they sell. Argentine brands and then Cheerios and Coco Cookie Crisp Nesco and then oh here they have a thing that's called Malta that you can use it with milk and drink it's nice I like it but it's hard for me to buy it because I don't normally drink it off in time and then it goes bad and then I just hate it when that happens so I don't really buy it but it's nice if they have like really smaller packages I would and then now we are going to the milk oh here we have powdered milk which is very popular here this is 249 for 400 grams not bad at all because it would be more expensive and of course, Industria Argentina or made in Argentina. Everything is made here. We have baby formula. I don't really see a lot of formula here because I think the government actually, if you're signed up with like um, health insurance, government will actually give you free formula. So I don't think people really buy a lot. So that's why you won't have like an aisle or anything. Then here we have coffee, more and more coffee. I told you Argentina is a coffee country. 
So that little coffee that you saw over there would not be enough. And this... And then over here too, they consume a lot of chocolatada. Which is the chocolate and milk. So here is all chocolate. Oh, and over there you have like the meat shop where you can get your meat but it looks pretty empty I'm not sure what's happening okay and then you have your milk and then this is where we get to the famous mate or the mate herb so this is a herb that they consume a lot, a lot, a lot. This is like their national tea. When it's hot, they drink it with, with juice and they call it terere. When it's cold, they drink it with hot water. They call it mate. And this is what the herb, this is the herb. I will probably see if I could, I will buy one, buy a pack to just show you because I don't drink it, it's too bitter. And yeah, a pack of it is called, cost 286 pesos. They drink it morning, noon, and night. As I told you, that's kind of different ways of make, making it. Then you have your tea, Lipton. This is a popular one. The others are probably from here. And let me show you. Lipton. Wow, this is the first time seeing something not made in Argentina. It's a good tool for you to see that I'm not lying. So it's in this Industria Chilena. This is actually made in Chile. But everything else, watch. Argentina, Argentina, Argentina. So you find a few things that will say not made in Argentina, but most of them, Argentina. And here you look, fashion tea. First time I tried it, it was really good, but then I bought it for myself and it was horrible, so. I don't want to buy it anymore. Um, and they have a lot of fruit flavored teas. And as you can see the prices that they're not too bad. Um, hmm. I don't really like buying my teas here. I think I mostly buy my teas from another supermarket. Because I don't like this brand. Love it to me. Um, but I'm running out so I may just get a pack or two hierbas naturales natural herbs <laughs> now let's get going okay so now we're heading to the biscuit pile oh, let's go to another one before because here's a bit busy right now so I was telling you guys about dulce de leche and here we have all the different brands of dulce de leche. Look, all of that, that's caramel. <laughs> Anytime you see an aisle so full of things, it's because it's very popular. And here we have honey. And then we have some jam. Jam is also very popular here because they eat jam. Um, with your biscuits so here are the, all the different types of jams then here now we have some some fruit bars cereal mix this one is nice um the strawberry one so fruit bars yogurt and stuff these are really good for we have your chocolate and candy, 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 candy. Hamlet, these are like chocolate, not too pricey. Oh, and here's another biscuit aisle. Oh, this is the biscuit aisle. These are, I've had so many of these. And let's look. 
In Chinese, see Industria Argentina, made in Argentina. This one's in English. Oh well. <laughs> and then different types of biscuits. Biscuit, biscuit, biscuit. And these, they eat them a lot for breakfast with jam and their caramel and cheese, cream cheese. You see them after. Oreo is actually also very popular here. And let's see where it says, where was Oreo made? Industria Argentina. Now you're focusing. Oh well. Alright. So let's get going. Flower galore. Okay, here we have some sugar, sweeteners, so as I said, like, we are rearranging supermarkets so noisy right now, but it's just so confusing, <laughs> and I haven't been here in a while, so I'm just trying to find my way around. It's taking me twice as much time to get around because I'm not sure where to find anything. We have some canned peaches, candy pears, and um, like the fruits, assorted fruits. And on this side, we have beans. Candy beans. All the beans you can think of, they're here. And yeah, I just randomly put some beer here. Have some more canned corn with cream. So that used to make um, corn pie. Hmm, we should make some corn pie. Beans. More beans, corn to make popcorn as well, lentils, like mixed, mixed vegetables, as Jamaicans call it, <laughs> mixed vegetables, and then look at this beauty here, oh let's finish off with the beans, look. All green beans. Green beans. All around. Industria Argentina. <laughs> and then, here we have some tomato sauce or tomato paste. This is, I'm sure they have more because they normally have them in the box. I normally buy them in the box, but yeah, they say Argentines, they, they, Argentines, they use these to put on their pasta, they use them for their pizza, and Argentines are very big on making pizza at home. And here we have mackerel. And I recently found mackerel and oh, what a delight. It's like refreshing, you know, something different. But it's also very pricey here. Why are you so pricey? So I think I mean like getting a mackerel. <laughs> and then yes, look again. I was telling you. That could not be all the tomato sauce that they have. The tomato paste. Look, there's more. There's more. I normally buy this brand or this one. But their tomato paste, I guess, with anything, they don't really have any flavor. You have to add stuff to them. 
and then here you have like specific ones to make pizza or um, some Portuguese kind of sauce these are you specifically for pasta but I, I, to me anyone can be used for anything and the price is 72 pesos not bad at all less than a dollar then you have other brands selling the same thing let's see what else is here oh then you have mustard and ketchup here again oh here we have some more um varieties of of mackerel but they're all so pricey when did they get this pricey and then you have tuna here um i don't normally buy the tuna here because i tried it before and it was really horrible there's this one specific one from this brand that tastes normal tastes like the one that we're used to but i can't remember what it is so i prefer not to buy it and wow this is the first time seeing this oh my gosh they actually have sardines oh no i have to get one wow i'm discovering things today they're sardines so is it that sardines always come in tins looking like this all over the world <laughs> then we have sauce i make it a pack because i think i'm running out oh pardon me here we have mayonnaise uh, not mayonnaise um vinegar i think i have but just in case i'll get another one i really like this vinegar it gives a nice flavor to the things that you use it on then here we have some brazilian speaking portuguese there are a lot of them here yeah and then no i think i'm finished with oh and yeah argentines are very big on their gelatin their postulate or the desserts the cake mix that you have here these are the ones that you'll find I'm not sure if these brands are also found elsewhere some other cake mixes and then with that said we can go on to the other part of the supermarket which is proving to be much bigger than I thought but well, they've stopped knocking and knocking and knocking so relaxing and we already showed you guys all the wine that can be found here Soda. Lime juice. Then you have all your Kool Aid, as Jamaicans call this, your drink mix. You have Tang, which is like 33 pesos. That would be cents in US dollars. And BC, Noel. I think I may get one just in case, you know, when you have people over, you want to give them something to drink. <laughs> um, I normally use the flavors, talk about the I uh, talk about the prices in US dollars because that's easier to, to, to compare. And then here again, you have all the alcohol. These, some of them may be very pricey, like 2,000 pesos, which would be like 20 US dollars. And those are the ones that have the little thing on them. I don't know why. I guess because they're on the pricier side. They don't want them to to be stolen. You can steal the cheap ones but not the expensive ones. Um, soda water. I think I may get one. Yeah, they drink this a lot after having their coffee. I don't drink coffee but I heard that it helps with digestion. <laughs> and then here you have your water. I wanted to get a bottle of water but one of the big ones I don't see them here your soda and then look look again all of this is wine going all the way down 
Look, look. Let's wind all the way down. Come all the way around here. There, wine again. All right, so Argentina is a cheese country. Look at all these cheese, all the variety, and they use cheese a lot. They use it on their meat, their milanesa, on their chicken, cooked chicken, on pizza, in their empanadas, all the like. Look, all of this is cheese, and I'm sure there are more varieties on the other side. All the varieties of cheese that you can think of. Seasoned cheese. <laughs> Blocks of cheese. Let's go to the next side, because I'm sure there's more cheese. Here again. Cheese. And then on this side we come to what they call they call these things fiambres. They're like long sausages. Some of them I heard that they made of like pig bl pig's blood or um, seasoned pig's blood or just um, I'm not sure what else they're made of honestly. <laughs> but I don't eat them because I think most of them have pork in pig in them. Um pork. Alright. Then here again you have more cheese. Cheese and cheese and more cheese. Okay, we're gonna go back around. Okay, and look here again. You have cheese and cheese and more cheese. <laughs> and then down this side, we have like how my sausages. I can't eat these sausages either because they all have some amount of pork in them. Um, there's a particular place that sells um, chicken sausages, but that's the only place that I've, that I've found them. Even though these are most like beef sausages, they have pork in them. And then here you have like fat that you can use to make your. What do they call it? make like your crust and all of that and here you have Argentinians were big on crust to make your own thing so you can make your own tarts they sell you that um, yeah I think I should get one so that I can make some some spinach tarts make like a good way of eating my veggies even though it's hard for me to eat them without cheese and it's not good when you're eating um, iron-rich foods. Um, so I'll get this one. And then, also I've been mentioning empanadas. They're like small patties. In Argentina, in Argentina you can always make your own things. Your own empanadas, your own tarts, your own pizzas. So, so you have them. Freir means to fry or some of them say hornear which means to you put in the oven um let's see if i can find one that says hornear oh yes ordinal um and look all of these all the same thing put in the oven i normally buy this one but there's one that was really nice i can't remember what it was what brand it was but you don't really find it everywhere I'm just gonna get this one. All right, here it says para hornear. Make some empanadas. And then here, you have like some pizzas that are ready to just be placed in the oven. And there's this thing that they call per pizza, which is like the pizza bread crust. They already make it for you. And you just make your sauce and your cheese and put it on, and you're ready to go. No, yeah, here they are, per pizza. Right. You just have them like this, and you just put them in your topping on and oven, and that's it. And they're not expensive. Look, for two of them, you get them for 120 pesos, which would be like one US dollar. 
I'm seeing a lot of one US dollar, right? Everything is like one, 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 one. <laughs> or cents. So, after I'll show you guys everything that I've bought and the, the how much I paid, plus um, with the, the discount from the, the states. Alright, so here in this aisle we have butter. the lights of butter so oh, which one should I get and then here we have more cheese <laughs> but this time this is like cream cheese so here you have a lot of variety of cheddar um, Swiss um, four four cheese a mixture together and on the bottom you have milk so all these are cream cheese and then here you have like um, what they call milk cream right they use a lot of milk cream to make their ingredient to make their their food items here it's been I think it's been refurbished or they're fixing it or something's not working servicing it so there's nothing there normally they have yogurt there let's see where they have the yogurt now and then here and you have all the Oh, let's go to this part. So here, as I tell, big on pasta, big on raviolis, gnocchis, which is I think that's made from potatoes, pasta, ravioli, 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 raviolis, olives, just raviolis, and some special types of pasta. And then here, oh, these, oh, they have fruits, like frozen fruits, frozen spinach, frozen um, sweet peppers, frozen onions, frozen broccoli, like why? <laughs> frozen veggies, frozen everything frozen. Frozen, let it go, let it go. Yeah, it's pretty empty today. I guess they're really doing some refurbishing or whatever they are doing because it's been a while that I've been here. These are like little chicken nuggets or chicken patties. Different brands. Paladini is also a very big brand here. I know I tend to stick to what I know unless someone recommends something that I that they think I would like. Because it's really kind of hard. These are um, soy, soy patties. Um, yeah, all these are soy patties. Some of them have beans in them. I tried a different brand once and I didn't like it, so I'm just thinking that I'll just stick to what I know. Which is Lucchetti, which I'm not seeing anything from them, so I may not get any from here. There's a supermarket close to me that has them. Um, these are veggie patties as well. You see, all of this aisle is for vegetarian options. All these, all the, <laughs> all the items in the fridge on this side, so that's not too bad. So let's see what's going on in this section. So here you have the cashiers. Before I head to the cashier, I'm gonna get some other items. And then here you have like all your your products for your all your deodorants. Um, let's see which one. Okay, so I've always bought Dove, but this time I'm gonna try Nivea, which is a nice brand. So let's see what it has in store. <laughs> then here you have all your diapers, your pampers. And I know pampers from Jamaica, so I know it's not an Argentine brand, but let's see if it says Industria Argentina. And then I can't find where it's made. can't find where it's made 
I'm sure I would say in this area, Argentina. <laughs> yeah, I was so shocked. Like, why is everything? Why does everything say made in Argentina? Is everything really made here? And here you have baby products, Johnsons. But maybe it'll be easier to find here where it's made. All right, look. Industria Argentina. And then here you have Huggies as well. No, I'm even looking at diapers. Oh, this one says made in Brazil. That's weird. That's a first too. <laughs> but look, Huggies, this one, made in Argentina. <laughs> and then here you have your, your lotion. nail polish remover, your foot powder, your gel, and more diapers. Look, all of that. Diapers, diapers, diapers. <laughs> and you have the soap. Dettol soap. And in this aisle, you have all the things for to make the woman look beautiful. Your dye, your dye. All your your products and these. That's this is one thing I wanted to mention, like shampoo and condition. That because Argentina is like a, just a white country, <laughs> and most of the persons are are from Europe or they have a certain hair type. Then you will find products just for them you won't find products for people who have hair type like ours but what you have you have um foreigners coming in now and there's a lot more variety and they're really trying for example with makeup i think they're trying to have um, darker tones as it relates to hair products so far her hair products that are for black people or for for c hair types are normally sold by foreigners so you just have to just get in touch with them, mostly Brazilians. And then here you have soap for, to wash your hands, hand soap. And as I said before, you know, the same thing that you have them. They, used to, they are sold in bottles and they're also sold like this. In the bottle it costs 175 pesos. And if you buy the, the plastic bag, the refill, it's 114 pesos. So it's always good to get that refill. Um, let's try green tea because these do last me a long time. And then we go on to the woman era, woman, <laughs> woman care okay so you guys finally get to hear my voice they're playing music this part of the supermarket so i have to do a voiceover so here i was showing you always how cheap it was it was like 60 pesos for a pack of eight and that would be like 50 or 25 cents and i was wondering why is it so cheap because always is normally very expensive always is always expensive <laughs> but uh, yeah i don't know why it was so cheap Maybe because it was made in Argentina. All right, so this is the area, you know, where you can find all your, your little, you know, things for women. I normally mix them up by, by different packets um, of the, from different brands. Some of them are probably longer than others, thicker than others. So it depends on the moment and, you know, it's TMI. <laughs> and also get... Um, what do they call them? Panty shields, right? They call them diarios in, in Spanish. And then if you move on to this aisle, you'll also... Well, that's another brand that I use also. It's pretty good. And then if we move on, they also sell cotton in this section. You can also find bottles of alcohol. And of course, the supply increased during the pandemic. Um, and then you also have cottons and they sell like little packets of, um, of paper towel that the guys also sell on the road. And 
this section also has a lot of toothbrushes and toothpaste so here I think I was you know explaining a bit of dentistry dental stuff you know the toothbrush that would probably be best for you the ones that are hard and not so good for your enamel are normally the cheaper ones they often come in like packs you know two or three sometimes you can have individual ones but if you buy them in the pack then it will definitely be cheaper and also have the ones for the children and uh, Sensodyne this one was I think the best option the bristles were were thin and soft then the rest of the aisle I think was just for different brands of toothpaste Colgate was the most popular one. You also had Oral V. Sensodyne was also present. Um, and there are other brands that, you know, are not very popular. Um, and Colgate had a, ver a lot of variety. You had those that were for triple action, herbal. I think you also had probably charcoal or fruit flavored. Maybe not in this supermarket, but in other supermarkets, they have those varieties and yeah i think that this was it and i was heading to the cashier i was just showing you that sense that before i head out <laughs> right so yeah this is where i'll end it well this section of the vlog let me see if the other section i'll have to do a voiceover as well yeah so it turns out that was pretty much it for that aisle and pretty much it for my my shopping tour um, at the front right before you get to the cashier they have these little stands with you know little things that you may have forgotten to get during your shopping like little spices um, sweets um, they have maybe have batteries um, just just the little things here and there. And wait. Uh, just before you go so ahead to the cashier. Unfortunately, yeah, I won't be able I have to show to, you um, to, to format the what, line. And what's it like until using I was the, called. the government discounts on my and phone? Yeah, I was explaining that I would show, it to you show you. I, it was a pity that I wouldn't I be home, able to show you no, how the government system works, you know, by playing with my phone, but I'll show you that another time. So. I'm gonna leave you guys here for now. Thank you for coming with me on this supermarket tour of the Micropack Supermarket in Rosario, Argentina. Bye bye! Hope to see you soon.